ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Entertainers in the Tri-State. Yes, yes, this is your old buddy, Mason Durant. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a good time today. And with, without further ado with my gabbing and so forth, I would like to introduce you to the producer and director of Entertainers in the Tri-State, Mr. Paul Ketterer. Thank you, Mason. Thank you for such a fine introduction. Thank you for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We're here in Cincinnati on the fountain enjoying the festivities of Cincy Cinco. We are coordinating our efforts with Alfonso Cornelio and his partner, Neil Comer. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to see a lot of dancing, a lot of festivities, good, authentic Hispanic food. And uh, let's jump right in and see the opening remarks, the opening ceremony from Mayor Mark Mallory, Max Montoya, and his beautiful daughter from Channel 5, who you all will recognize when you see her. Muchas gracias, señor. Bienvenidos a Cincy se estar aquí con todos ustedes. Soy Alison Montoya y trabajo para el Canal 5 de Televisión. Cincy 5 and Canal 5. Channel 5 is very, very pleased to be part of this wonderful event here at Fountain Square. And welcome to the eighth Cincy Cinco Fiesta Latina in this beautiful city on Fountain Square. We would like to take a few minutes to introduce some very important people here and thank you all for coming today. Muchas gracias. Now, first of all, we have with us the founders and the two main organizers, Senor Neil Comber and Ifanzo Cornejo. And the mayor of this awesome ciudad, Mayor Mark Mallory. And then the Council of Mexico, Mr. Juan Solana. And our first Hispanic candidate for City Council, Mr. Jason Rivera. He's somewhere out there. I think he's I think he's eating. Oh, he's campaigning. He's probably eating too. All right. And last but not least, a person that's very near and dear to my heart, mi papito, Max Montoya. He's a Bengal, a former Bengal, but the best dad ever. <laughs> now, before I pass this microphone on to our mayor, I would like again to thank all of our sponsors for this wonderful event who could make this all possible, and especially the three corporations who are founding partners of this great event. First, Procter & Gamble, the Kroger Company, and the great PNC Bank, and the other 23 organizations here present, and the eight restaurants cooking delicioso food. Now, the hundreds of volunteers, though, thank you, too, as well, to make this possible. Now, let me introduce you to a man that's very well known here in the city of Cincinnati, Mr. Mayor Mark Mallory. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Gracias. Let me welcome all of you, uh, particularly our out-of-town guests, but all of you to Cincinnati's Fountain Square. It is great to be a part of the 8th Cincy Cinco celebration of, of Hispanic culture. This is a wonderful activity. I'm glad to be a part of it. My administration is making strides in every way that we can so that we ensure that Cincinnati is as welcoming to all people as possible. And I'm glad to be here and to be a part of this celebration today. Now, I'm supposed to introduce to you Jason Rivero. He is actually out campaigning. He is Cincinnati's first Hispanic candidate for Cincinnati City Council. I wish he was here because I want you to know who he is. I want you to support him. And I'm telling you right now, I have given him my official endorsement, so I want him to be elected. All right, so I'm just glad to be a part of today's celebration. And again, I want to thank all the sponsors who have uh, given of their time, their energy, and their resources to be here and to be a part of Cincy Cinco. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, and next on the list, again, it's my father, Senor Max Montoya. I call him Pops. <laughs> We're kind of Kentucky hillbillies now, but uh, here's more with my dad. Thank you, Allison. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I first came here in 1979 from Los Angeles. I went to UCLA and was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in 79. And I'll tell you, things have really changed in 33 years or however many it's been. 
Uh, when I first got here in 79, there might have been one Mexican restaurant in northern Kentucky, and that was called Sylvia's. Uh, and then, of course, in 85, I had to open my own Montoya's Mexican restaurant in northern Kentucky. So uh, it's come a long way, and uh, it's been a great, I played here 11 great years, and uh, we had some great teams and some great fans here, and I just want to say thank you all for being such great Bengal fans, and hang in there, we'll be back. Thank you. Gracias, papi. All right, and now for another special moment of this eighth annual Cincy Cinco, I'm honored to introduce to you Mr. Juan Solana, Council of Mexico for the states of Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Let's give Mr. Solana a big hand for his attendance. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo están todos? Listos para seguir celebrando. Eso es muy importante. Como ustedes saben, el día de hoy estamos celebrando la batalla del 5 de mayo, en donde el ejército mexicano le ganó al ejército francés. Uh, hello, how are you, everybody? Today, apart from being celebrating something that's becoming so, so important for the uh, Latin population here in Cincinnati, today the celebration started when the Mexican army won and fought against the French army a long, long time ago. But it's not just that. I'm very happy being here because I know this is becoming a very Latino, unique festival in the city of Cincinnati. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for that. I know you receive your help. And of course, the Chamber, the Spanish Chamber of Commerce, too. But for, they, for me, today is even more a special occasion. Today, I have the honor to be able to give a unique award to a unique Mexican. Today, I'm going to give uh, the name of uh, my government, El Oddly Award, one of the most important medals that Mexican government gives to a Mexican citizen. Uh, Oddly means uh, the path breaker, El Caminante. And in this year, it's a unique uh, honor to give this award to the Senor Alfonso Cornejo that has been working for Hispanic people here, the Latino people here at the Mexican for a long, long, long time. So, it's un placer darte este reconocimiento, es un placer realmente darte y felicitarte por esto. And not, not just that, this award is not just paper. It's very important because it's one of the most important medals that my uh, government gives. So, now let me present you with the medal. It's quite complicated, you got several parts of it. And here's the medal that he's going to receive together with the award. Alfonso, muchas felicidades por el trabajo que has hecho por la población hispana, latinos, mexicanos aquí. Muchas gracias. So, un aplauso para el... Please, Alfonso. Just, uh, uh, thank you very much for coming. I was... I was uh, uh, answering uh, uh, Consul Solana just a few minutes ago. Uh, this is a very sp special moment for me. And the only, the only thing that is not, uh, that don't let me express my, my joy and, and my, my, I'm so proud of this, is the fact that my mother and my father are not here present. I mean, they, they, they are not uh, alive. I mean, uh, they are dead. But my, I know my father and my mother will be extremely happy to see me re receive an award like that. So I, I wanna, pass you this and uh, thank you very much for coming and uh, the, the party continues. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to Neil and Alfonso again for organizing this wonderful event here at Fountain Square, the eighth year again for Cincy Cinco and thank you Mayor Mallory for coming here today. We're going to teach him some Spanish tonight. And thank you guys. Thanks again for coming. And make sure you guys come tomorrow. Give yourselves a big hand. Muchas gracias. But guys, it's not over yet. The fun's just getting started. We have two bands on tap tonight. First is Orquesta Bravo from Columbus. And following Orquesta is Orquesta Candela, Cincinnati's all-female band. So very exciting there. And it's time to put on your dancing shoes the fun actually goes until 11 o'clock tonight. And tomorrow, again, we continue right here at Fountain Square at noon. And hope you guys will join us. And your friends will come down here for Dia de Madres. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Hasta pronto. And now, Neil, can you tell us who our next act is going to be? 
Sure, actually, we have something very special now. We're going to have uh, children who have enrolled in, in, in a special parade, a costume contest, the most authentic Latin American contest. Little children under the age of eight uh, have a lot of fun with, with how they've been put together and how beautiful they look. And then out of that, we'll pick a winner. Thank you, Neil. Let's jump in and see this wonderful parade.
en la confección de este patado ahora. Ahora tenemos que dar un aplauso entre esta bebita y ella. Uno para ella. Uno. Bueno, esa fue la que ganó. Bueno, bajen, bajen inmediatamente, que vamos a seguir. Thank you for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State where we're covering Cincy Cinco in Cincinnati here on the Fountain. Fortunately, with us today is Neil Comer and Alfonso Cornelio. Alfonso, who is our next act going to be? We're very, very pleased to have Kelindos Panama. Kelindos Panama is one of the oldest groups in the city. They have been dancing for more than 20 years and we're delighted to have them every year with us. So they are an outstanding local group. Kelindos Panama with us. Super, all right, let's take it away. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We are here on the Fountain in Cincinnati enjoying all the 
wonderful festivities of Cincy Cinco, the fine Mexican authentic food, the entertainment, the dances, and, and a lot of great entertainment. Neil, who is our next act going to be? Our next act is Danza Contigo Peru, that's put together by Donnie Jessen. They have been with us from day one and are a terrific Peruvian dancing group with some really authentic Peruvian dancing. Take it away, Danza Contigo Peru.
Thank you for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We're covering Cincy Cinco, a wonderful Hispanic activity and community uh, event. Uh, it's been here for a number of years, at least eight or nine years now, and uh, it is a lot of fun, for family fun, a lot of excitement. In fact, with us today is Alfonso Cornelio. Would you tell us who our next act go is going to be? Sure. We're so happy. We, we brought directly from Chicago, Horizontes Mexicanos. This is the group that is the highlight of this event, Horizontes Mexicanos from Chicago. And here we have Horizontes Mexicanos.
say how great the performers from Chicago are. Give them another round of applause. That's dancing.
Thank you for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We have a wonderful coverage of a spectacular event. Cincy Cinco with us today is one of the major event coordinators, Neil Comer. Neil, who is our next act going to be? Our next act is something very unique and original in Cincinnati. They are the closing act for tonight where everybody's gonna get out and put their dancing shoes on. It's the first all-female salsa dancing band in Cincinnati, Orquesta Candela. Please put it together for Orquesta Candela. <laughs>
for joining us. You are watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We are in Cincinnati on the fountain enjoying all the wonderful festivities of Cincy Cinco. You noticed in the opening ceremony that Alfonso received such a great award. We wanted to take a moment and congratulate him and recognize him for such an outstanding award. Alfonso, what a wonderful achievement. We're so proud of all of your accomplishments and uh, wanted to just take a moment and recognize you for that. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to receive this uh, this award from the Mexican government, and uh, and uh, the award, the Otley Award, uh, means a pathfinder, and it's, it's sort, of, sort of a symbol symbol for me. And I'm very, very proud to receive it. And we're very proud that you brought all of these wonderful festivities uh, to the fountain. And thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. You have been watching Entertainers in a Tri-State. We hope that you enjoyed our coverage of Cincy Cinco as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And now it's time to bring this coverage to an end thing. Mason, what did you think of that fabulous show? Yeah, wasn't that great? Well, you did the best, pal. Well, Without me, what will be built be, huh? <laughs> right? Come on, you.